Trend lines this, trend lines that. I can almost guarantee you all of you follow someone who uses trend lines in their trading. But how exactly do you know if it's actually a trend line? And how can you confirm the person you follow knows what they are talking about? Humans are designed to find patterns in noise. Since we lived in caves, seeing patterns in data, in the stars, and in nature gave us a distinct evolutionary advantage. So of course, when we open a noisy chart, our eyes try and see the patterns. The problem is sometimes our brains see what they want to see. So how can you protect yourself against your brain and correctly identify true and real patterns? When we draw trend lines in the market, there are some set rules that we can use to check if something really is following a trend versus just an imaginary line. Firstly, looking at the number of touches is key. How many bounces do we need off a trend line to actually confirm it? Well, generally speaking, the answer to that is three. But why three? Well, take a chart, any chart. Label the high, lows, and swing points in the market. You are able to connect any two points next to each other with a line. This is meaningless. When it comes to connecting three points, this is clearly more significant. Having three points helps us to ensure it's not randomness and it's a more meaningful market level. So let's take a look at an example. Here we see the market made two higher lows after a swing point. We are able to connect the three market levels using a single straight line. Now, on the third bounce, we could confirm this market level. We could enter a trade on the third touch or subsequent touches of this trend line. Another key question is where do we draw our trend lines from? The body or the wicks of the candle? There are arguments for both. Since Chart Prime has given me control of this channel, I'm going to make my case. But in reality, both are equally valid. Personally, I prefer drawing trend lines from the bodies of the candle, since they are less subject to anomalies and outliers in the data. They are more averaged, if you will. However, drawing from wicks is also valid. It's just paying closer attention to the exact points of reversals, and you are free to use these too. What is not okay is drawing your trend line slap bang through a candle and just ignoring it to fit your narrative. This this is something influencers or creators will often do to frantically justify a level or a trade. But in reality, it's just overfitting. The final thing to touch on is the steepness of the trend line. The steeper the trend line, the less sustainable it is in general. This means it could be more subject to being broken. A flatter trend line is more sustainable and less subject to volatility in general, meaning it is a better level to watch normally. This is why, generally speaking, horizontal support and resistance levels are considered considered a level above trend lines in their strength. So that's it. That's your crash course in trend lines. Now you can check someone's chart and know if they are seeing patterns in the stars or if they truly are seeing a true market trend. If you enjoy this video and our education, don't forget to join our Discord and subscribe to us right here to get more content like this.